Returning to my coin lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. Currently, we are at a little over 54 cents. We dropped right here because, as soon as word got out that the SEC would be appealing the judge's decision, specifically, the SEC notice of appeal of Judge Torres's XRP ruling, everyone started to panic. End of story. That was it. XRP will not be included in every episode. I'll tell you why they're all totally incorrect. It was unclear in 2021 whether XRP constituted a security. We now have clarity. Despite this attraction, XRP is not a security. To my mind, this is merely a more profound shakedown on Ripple effect. The SEC is requesting that Ripple pay a higher sum. You may recall that many major exchanges delisted XRP in 2021 as well. Relisting on those exchanges has taken place since then. Despite the several videos that will inevitably surface claiming that this is the worst possible outcome for old season, I am confident that nothing will stop us from reaching new heights for XRP during alt season. Truly, they are all deceitful. In other words, XRP is unstoppable. According to Stuart Alderati's piece, it is sad, but not surprising, that the SEC has decided to appeal. The situation is becoming much more embarrassing for the agency, and this will only make it worse. There were no claims of fraud, victims, or losses, and the court had already dismissed the SEC's contention that Ripple acted irresponsibly. Its agency, led by its chair, persists in waging a legal war against the sector rather than just applying the law. It is being considered whether a cross-appeal should be filed. Whatever the case may be, we are prepared to demonstrate in the appellate court that the SEC lawsuit was illogical and erroneous from the beginning, thereby reclaiming the lead for the industry. It was only a coincidence that the director of SEC enforcement announced his departure approximately one hour prior to this. I believe that individual submitted this and subsequently left. In a moment, I will elaborate on it. This is what Brad Garlinghouse said. Reasonable people like Gensler and the SEC would have abandoned this issue a long time ago. While the rule of law has already triumphed, it has undoubtedly failed to safeguard investors and has instead harmed the SEC's credibility and reputation. Somehow, they still haven't gotten the message that they lost on everything that matters ripple in the crypto industry. We will continue to fight this in court for as long as it takes. It's important to note that the current legal standing of XRP as a non-security remains unchanged, regardless of how frustrating and stupid this appeal may be. Recall that the SEC made it plain during their failed attempt at an interlocutory appeal that they would not be contesting XRP's classification as a non-security. Nothing is stopping us this season, and XRP isn't even a security. Tom Emmer says that you shouldn't let negative information deceive you about XRP, at Gary Gensler, SEC Director of Enforcement, Gruel promotes anarchy and lawlessness. In 2022, he even went on record admitting that. That's great to see him leaving. Evidently, he resigned at the SEC after filing this appeal. What a weakling. The SEC's approach of an Particularly problematic has been the enforcement of regulations on an as-needed basis without establishing clear industry-wide principles. Congress must have the final say and resolve these concerns. Congress, not the next US president, will decide the fate of cryptocurrencies, this is what I've been attempting to convey to you throughout. Disregard the political rhetoric coming from these leaders. Something needs to be done by Congress. On the other hand, Trump has promised to remove SEC head Gensler from his position on his first day in office and has changed his mind about Bitcoin saying that the U.S. will become the global crypto capital. Despite the attention-grabbing nature of these pledges, the president actually has very little control on the trajectory of digital assets. My repeated calls for action from Congress stem from the fact that they are the ultimate arbiters of crypto regulation. Gary doesn't need your letters anymore. Put down the yell. Stop him in his tracks. Rid him of the SEC. According to research out of Emory University, SEC officials can engage in systematic market beating or insider trading by selling assets in their personal portfolios that are under investigation by the agency before the probe becomes public. 
You have no idea how much corruption there is in the US government going on behind the scenes. It begins with politicians and eventually makes its way to the SEC and other government organizations. For that reason, when these individuals take office, the fact that they manage to make millions of dollars while hardly having enough money to rub two nickels together is also unacceptable. For this reason, however, Nancy Pelosi is not being pursued by the SEC. The reason Nancy keeps amassing wealth in the stock market is because of this. Eleanor Tourette's voice is heard here. In my most recent article about Bitwise Invest's XRP ETF filing, I included this small secret. According to the website of the Delaware Division of Corporations, another entity, which is associated with Valkyrie Funds, formed an XRP ETF last week. The name of the entity is Canary XRP ETF. The Bitwise ETF wasn't the only one. Someone else had already filed this one. The current speculation is that the SEC will reject these ETFs due to the ongoing appeal. Although I have my doubts about it. The filings at the SEC led me to believe that they would not be appealing, to be honest. But that was where we went wrong. To be honest, I find this to be the most irritating aspect. To just get this done, Ripple is prepared to pay $125 million. The SEC should be content with the money and let things to progress without interfering. Contrary to popular belief, they must bind Ripple for as long as possible. Things are progressing at a breakneck pace, and this is occurring everywhere else in the globe at the same time. Crypto hubs are springing up all over the world, even in nations that wouldn't normally consider themselves to be crypto hubs. This simply goes to demonstrate how corrupt the US is. Here, it's all about pay to play, and they decide how much and how you can play. A bombshell was just dropped by Brad Garlinghouse. According to him, this is just the start for XRP and ETFs. Brad mentioned Bitcoin and Ethereum initially. The inevitable has to happen eventually. The continuous adoption and maturing of the crypto sector is marked by this action, which highlights the increasing trust and integration of digital assets like XRP into traditional finance. This feels like it's only the start. Since XRP is not a security, Brad believes additional acceptance will occur for the coin regardless of this appeal. Thanks to Black Swan Capitalist, this is here. Brick has been my mantra for the past four years. Love XRP and am happy to see this come to fruition. Interoperability has been crucial from the start. In a multipolar world, financial institutions like Enbridge will play an important role in the future by connecting different assets, currencies, and payment systems using the Ripple protocol. According to him, the reason the Saudi central bank joined Project Enbridge and inked a blockchain agreement with Ripple in 2018 is because XRP would be used by Project Enbridge and BRICS due to its impartiality. Are you seriously under the impression that this SEC appeal is important to the BRICS? Not at all. They will keep moving forward. Russian advancements will not abate. Despite the SEC's appeal against Ripple, these other nations will not slow down. RippleNet technology, XRP, and RippleNets are a game-changer, and they're here to use them. It has a domino effect on the whole financial sector. So, what makes banks think it would be a good app to use? In your opinion, what makes all these Ripple partners interested in utilizing the technology? Utilize XRP, as it revolutionizes the entire industry. Everyone wants it because it makes payments easy, cheap, and safe. We are living in the digital age. By putting our money into the correct cryptocurrencies, we can join in on the action. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video. When you're done, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think.